My funny valentine Sweet comic valentine You make me smile With my heart Your looks are laughable Photographable Yet you're my favorite work of art Is your figure less than green? Is your mouth a little weak? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and parents, friends, students at Sacred Heart. Welcome to our first annual spring production, our cabaret. And I would just, before we start, take this opportunity to thank you all for coming and making this a special night for us. Uh, we've been trying very hard for the past several years to put together something um, for our students at the school, since we don't have a bona fide music program, to be able to um, ex express and show their talents. And thanks to our director and our music director, they have come together and we were lucky to get them and I want to thank uh, Marisa for giving me the name to get in touch with Eric Bloomquist. And I'm not going to talk much about them, but their bios are on the back and when you see what both uh, Eric and Steve um, have done in their careers and how lucky we are to have had them come to Sacred Heart and work with our students, our talented students, to put on this performance tonight. Mrs. Regan and I just cannot express our gratitude to both of them and I'm sure you're going to see why in this performance tonight. Now Mrs. Regan is not here, she's been here for the past two nights watching the rehearsals and the dress rehearsals, but because we had so many events going on this evening, uh, that we had to split our duties, and I'm here, and she was down at Sacred Heart monitoring the basketball game, but she wants to send her best wishes, and she wants to let our, our singers know that she's with you in spirit. If she's not here in person, she's going to try to get here. So, I just have a couple of <clears throat> uh, people I'd like to say thank you to, our cast members, Melanie Bovin, Kylie Dabrowski, Ashley Galveo, Kiara Kelly, Jillian Mike, Elizabeth Nanabaker, Stacy Rodriguez, Sydney Sirica, Jasmine Walton, and Lexi White. Special thanks go out to Mrs. Roseanne Whitney, who, who is coordinator and supervisor for all of this, our staff member who took it upon herself to make sure that everything was coordinated and ran smoothly and put it all together along with the help of Mr. Robert Malaspino, our guidance counselor, and he was the assistant. Also, to Mr. Justin Michaud, who volunteered his time and is going to do, be working on the video and the photography for this evening, and his brother, Mr. Brian Michaud, who is the technical supervisor for Rotella Magnet, who has been with us every night working to set, make sure the set, the mics, everything was uh, proper and to make sure that our show runs as smoothly as possible. So to all of you, my personal thanks from myself and Mrs. Regan. Hey, Mrs. Traver is not here, but I would be remiss if I did not thank her for putting together the poster that she's got there with the photographs and each of you are entitled to take your photograph home with you at the end of the evening. And to our student volunteers that are here, to help out tonight. Lauren Baker, James Bona, Jesse Breidenbach, Rihanna B Burns, Rihanna Burns, Melanie Caminero, Lena Goreski, and Tyler Mike. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you very much.
My Funny Valentine, a cabaret featuring selections from the Broadway songbook. Our next selection takes us all the way back to 1967, when Hair, the American tribal love rock musical, first made waves off Broadway. While best known for its songs like Let the Sunshine In and Aquarius, our next selection is a lesser known and deceptively simple song. A song about first impressions and misconnections, ladies and gentlemen, this is Frank Mills. Sandler's most beloved movies premiered in theaters across the country. Eight years later, The Wedding Singer was adapted into a high-energy Broadway musical that has since played professionally on four continents. Just like in the movie, the musical centers on a wedding singer named Robbie and his relationship with a waitress named Julia, who wants nothing more than to celebrate her own picture-perfect wedding. In this song, Julia shares just how much she dreams about this special day and how wonderful it could be. This is Someday. Did you see the bride? She looks so perfect. I know. Don't you hate her? Hate her? She's so happy. She turns around and she meets his gaze. The lights are dim. There's a smoky haze. They share a smile in a secret wave. It's a moment built to save. They start to move across the floor. The room is frozen, wanting more. The happy couple.
of audiences and critics alike. Ben Brantley of the New York Times says, if life were anything to be as it should, it would be more like Hairspray. Early on in the movie, Tracy Turnblad, our teen heroine, and her best friend, Penny Piggleton, audition for the local television dance program. When they are there, they are super starstruck, and Tracy bumps into teen heartthrob and lifelong crush, Link Larkin. Are you all right? Well, don't you hear him chime? I don't hear anything. Can't you feel my heartbeat keeping perfect time? And all because he touched me. He looked at me and stared. Yes, he bumped me. My heart was up. Yes, my heart burst, now I know. 
stories end with a happily ever after. Some tell stories of unrequited love and affection. And our next song from Wicked, Alpha Ba, who will eventually become known as the Wicked Witch of the West, who's an eager student at Shiz University, develops a crush on the new boy. But when her sister, Galinda, who will eventually become known as, well, you guessed it, Glinda the Good, steals his attention, Alphaba is left on the outskirts to imagine what life could be like if things were different. This is I'm Not That Girl. Hands touch, eyes meet, thought in silence, thought in heat, hearts leap in a giddy whirl. He could be that boy, but I'm not that girl. successful jukebox musical of all time, a celebration of family in all its forms. The show draws music from a Swedish supergroup, ABBA. Our next song may not be the song that you dance down the aisles to during a mega mix, but is a celebration of the unifying and timeless sharing of a melody. This is Ashley's original cover too. Thank you for the music. Nothing special, in fact, I'm a bit of a boy. If I tell you a joke, you probably heard it before. But I have a talent, a wonderful thing. Cause everyone listens and I start to sing. I'm so Talk. 
And I walked and wondered How did it all start? Who found out that nothing can capture a heart Like a melody can But whoever it was, I'm a fan So I say Thank you for the music, the songs I'm singing Thank you for the joy they're bringing Who could live without it, I ask in all honesty What will I be when I song or dance, what are we? So I say thank you for the music I'm a girl of golden hair I wanna sing it out loud To everybody What a joy, what a life What a chance So I say Thank you for the music The songs I'm singing Thank you for the joy Disney released their 35th animated feature in the 8th of the Disney Renaissance. Hercules, loosely based on the Greek myth of Heracles, featured voice talent Susan Egan as Meg, who played the original Belle in Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. Meg was originally given a soaring ballad in which she bemoaned her sorry state as she began to develop feelings for Hercules, entitled, I Can't Believe My Heart. But when her supervising animator noted that it was a bit out of character, she was given something a little more swing in its step. This is, I Won't Say I'm In Love. There's a prize for rotten judgment. I guess I've already won that. No man is worth the aggravation. That's ancient history. Been there, done that. Dying to cry your heart out
Menken has written some of the most popular and enduring show tunes from the last decades, including one of that was just performed. He's most known for his contributions to the Disney canon, writing music for The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Newsies, Aladdin, Pocahontas, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. One of his other claims to fame is writing the music for the dark horror comedy and cult favorite, The Shop of Horrors, which is currently enjoying a successful for revival off-Broadway. Tonight, we present two of his most prolific ballads, one from Little Shop of Horrors and one from The Little Mermaid. The songs are united by character, theme, and maybe even a little bit of melody. A matchbox of our own, a fence of real chain link, a grill out on the patio, disposal in the sink, a washer and a dryer, and an ironing machine, and the tract house that we share somewhere that's green
basket roll Wish I could be I dream will go Somewhere that's green First featured in 1937 in Richard Rodgers and Lorenz Hart's musical Babes in Arms, our next song has become an iconic jazz standard, featured on over 1,300 albums and performed by over 600 artists, including Michael Bublé, Ella Fitzgerald, Barbra Streisand, Seal, and so many others. In 2015, Chet Baker's recording was inducted into the National Library of Congress's recording registry and is namesake of tonight's performance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is My Funny Valentine. <laughs> Dan Warwick, but they were first written for the Broadway musical Promises, Promises, which debuted in 1968. The musical is based on the 1960 film The Apartment, which most of us up here haven't seen or heard of, but we definitely know the music now. Here is I Say a Little Prayer and I'll Never Fall in Love Again.
For our final song this evening, we return to Wicked with a piece that beautifully encapsulates the themes of love, friendship, and sisterhood. Made famous by Kristen Chenoweth and Adina Menzel, this song is a special tribute to all of the people who have passed through our lives and made a lasting mark. Whether they were here for long or short, and whether we realize it or not, these interactions have shaped us into the people we are, changing us for good. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return well i don't know if i believe that's true but i know i'm who i am today because i knew you like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes a sun Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood Who can say if I've been changed for the better But because I knew you I have been changed Okay, folks, I thought that was a great performance. I don't know, but I think it was great. I just want to say before we end the evening, I want to thank our band members, Steve Purdy on keyboard, 
my good friend John Mobilio on bass and James Allen on drums. And now to know the cast individually, I'd like to start with our two seniors to come out and take a bow. Lizzie Nanamaker and Kylie Dabrowski. Just stay there, stay right there. And the rest of our cast members, Melanie Bovin, Ashley Galveo, Kiara Kelly, Jillian Mike, Stacy Rodriguez, Sydney Sirica, Jasmine Walton, and Lexi White. Let's have a big round of applause for our girl singers. And lastly, I'd like them to come and take, come out on the stage, please. The director of this performance, and he did an unbelievable job, Eric Bloomkist. Eric, thank you so much. Thank you for coming and supporting, and I'm telling you this is the first of many to come, hopefully with the same group, and I know we'll get them back, and we only have two seniors here, but this was done for them especially because they worked hard for four years, and we've had a couple of plays, and then we, we lost one last year, and I promised them we would do something this year, Mrs. Regan and I promised them, and I hope you had as much fun as we did enjoying the show. Thank you all, and have a good night. <laughs>